Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I am going to discuss about polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS. It is also called as Stein Levantel syndrome. So, first of all, let us discuss about the etiology of this condition. The etiology of the PCO, uh, PCOS is unknown. Uh, actually, we don't know why this condition is happening, but there are some other factors which may uh, cause development of PCOS. Uh, it uh, could be due to uh, environmental factor or it could be due to some genetic factors or some uh, lifestyle issues like uh, obesity. So, for, uh, uh, so let us discuss about uh, the diagnostic criteria from which we can uh, label a patient uh, as uh, having polycystic ovarian syndrome. These criteria also called as Rotterdam's criteria. There are three main criteria which are included in Rotterdam's criteria. If uh, two of these criteria present in a patient, uh, we label here as uh, a condition of having polycystic ovarian syndrome. The first of these criteria is oligomenorrhea or amenorrhea. The second of this is hyperandrogenism uh, which may present in the form of hirsutism. And the third is actually a radiological sign in which enlarged ovaries will be seen on ultrasonography. In ultrasonography, we will see the ovary in the ovary, you will uh, see the um, cystic follicles at the subcapsular uh, uh, area of the uh, uh, ovaries. And actually, they, uh, these are not cystic. They, uh, these are arteritic uh, uh, follicles which uh, uh, are uh, caused due to decrease level of uh, follicle stimulating hormone so out of uh, these three criteria if two of these for example hyperandrogenism or uh, radiological sign enlarged ovaries present in a female we can label here as a, a case of polycystic ovarian syndrome there uh, also may be some other uh, association with PCOS uh, it could be obesity or insulin resistance. So what is the key hormonal abnormality in the polycystic ovarian syndrome? It is high level of luteinizing hormone or LH level. In PCOS, it is actually an imbalance between LH and FSH hormone. So high level of FSH, uh, luteinizing hormone will cause uh, or will give a positive stimulation to the TICA internal cells and these TICA internal cells will cause production of androgen and these androgen will be transported to the peripheral tissue mainly adipose tissue and in the adipose tissue by the action of aromatase enzyme these androgens will be converted into the estrogens the estrogens now uh, causes many effects in which patient uh, come to the clinic with uh, that uh, with the complaints of for example infertility hers uh, for example uh, sometimes we uh, could diagnose in uh, some patients with polycystic ovarian syndrome uh, endometrial carcinoma like this so high level of uh, estrogens first of all will give a negative stimulation to the pituitary and it will uh, cause decrease in the production of follicle stimulating hormone decreased level of fsh as it is the main hormone which is required for the maturation of the uh, uh, follicles so when the level of fsh is decreased the uh, uh, oocytes will not become mature as a result uh, uh, of immaturation uh, of the uh, oocytes uh, ovulation will not happen so the patient uh, is uh, uh, mainly present with uh, the infertility with complaint of infertility to the doctor as a result of in ovulation 
so uh, the unovulatory female they uh, they this condition is mainly painless and they uh, may also have irregular menstrual bleeding because ovulation is not happening uh, as a result of production of oocytes the uh, remnant cells will be converted into the corpus luteum as ovulation is not happening so no corpus luteum will be is uh, is produced and and uh, when no corpus luteum is present there will be no production of progesterone so there will be also decrease in the level of progesterone now the other manifestation of high level of estrogen is that it will give positive stimulation to the uh, proliferation of uterine endometrium in the uterine endometrium it will cause excess proliferation of the this uh, layer and cause endometrial hyperplasia and uh, finally it may develop into the endometrial carcinoma high level of estrogen also give positive feedback stimulation to the production of uh, lh from the uh, pituitary and cause an increase in the level of lh and this cycle will continue now let us discuss about the insulin resistance in the insulin resistance there will be high level of insulin which give positive stimulation to the tica cells and as a result there will be high level of androgen production and this androgen again transported to the peripheral tissue and in the peripheral tissue androgens will be uh, converted into the estrogen by aromatization and uh, the next steps will be the same uh, like uh, in the uh, in this part and uh, also high level of insulin with the androgens will be transported to the liver and in the liver they will suppress production of steroid hormone binding globulin so the level of steroid hormone binding globulin will be decreased and uh, there will be increase in the free form of estrogen and androgen so the free form of these hormones are mainly their active form so when those hormones are available in the uh, in high level in free form they may cause uh, the effects of uh, hirsutism acne infertility uh, and other manifestations so uh, now uh, wh- what are uh, our uh, investigations which uh, are needed uh, in a patient with polycystic ovarian syndrome we mainly do investigate the level of the hormones which uh, uh, there will be some hormones uh, in which level of them are uh, high and some hormone level are low and uh, we uh, uh, our main diagnostic criteria will be rotterdam's criteria and now let us discuss about the treatment of pcos the treatment of pcos is uh, first of all those who are obese they should reduce their weight weight loss is very important as decrease in the weight loss cause decrease in the level of adipose tissue and when the level of adipose tissue is decreased there will be decrease aromatization which means there will be decrease in the peripheral conversion of androgen to estrogen and finally estrogen level will be decreased and there will be no Uh, effect of and as a result effect of estrogen will be decreased which means there will be mm, no positive stimulation for the lh production no uh, 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 infertility and uh, also there will be no development of endometrial hyperplasia the other uh, steps for treatment of polycystic ovarian syndrome is giving uh, these patients metformin metformin is actually an anti diabetic drug 
but uh, this drug also cause uh, the uh, patient or help the patient to, to reduce their weight and also they improve insulin resistance and we also give the patient progesterone in the form of oral contraceptive pill as the progesterone will uh, go to the pituitary and it will give negative stimulation to the release of luteinizing hormone as the main complaint of the patient with polycystic ovarian syndrome is infertility so the treatment of infertility will be ovulation inducing drug what are these drugs there uh, it uh, could be clomiphene citrate or it could be letrozole uh, regarding the clomiphene citrate clomiphene citrate we will discuss in our next video uh, and uh, letrozole it is uh, also drug of choice and it is actually an aromatase inhibitor for the hirsutism we give uh, patient OCPs and spironolactone this was all uh, about the uh, PCOS uh, in the next lecture we will discuss about the main hormones uh, hormonal abnormalities uh, in the uh, PCOS uh, the level of uh, which hormones are being increased and which hormones are decreased and also the uh, some uh, uh, a little about the uh, colomophene uh, citrate and also the syndrome associated with polycystic ovarian syndrome and um, thank you for watching uh, and we will continue our lecture on the next video thanks